Welcome to a whole new episode of the developer log of Unbail. On this opportunity, I'd like to show you some, some of the UI changes that have been going on in the project. So we actually have a revamp inventory. Now, instead of having four categories on the top, we have way more on the left, making it easier, especially for new players to find what they're looking for. You can see that there's a description on the top. Uh, say for food and water, use food to regain energy and water containers to recover hydration. But we can keep scrolling and we see that the description on the top keeps changing as well. Of course, the list of items that are in that category. So if we actually select food and water, we're going to find uh, that this also changed radically. Uh, well, kind of. So now we have uh, much larger um, uh, thumbnails for the items that we have. Uh, that wasn't that easy to implement as it sounds, but it, uh, I finally did it and uh, it's looking good. Uh, now it's also more streamlined as you can see the you know, the title description and the effects that this object has. Uh, it's way more streamlined now. And you can see also there's a blue tag going on behind the thumbnail. That is because these, these are items. Uh, weapons instead have a yellow kind of golden-ish uh, tag going on. And skills have a green one. As a matter of fact, let's... Uh, Let's jump right into a weapon right here. So we have a, a stick of the lumberjack. Uh, you wouldn't normally put a token of lumberjack in a stick, uh, but this is just for demonstration. Uh, otherwise, it's a terrible idea. Now, you can see this has, again, a yellow background instead of a blue one. Next page, which is stats. And as you can see, I can see the level, which is zero and zero experience, but we may actually work on that. Um, and we can see the um, the stats provided by the, uh, the stick in this case, uh, which are zero 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 because it's level. You guess right, zero. If we go to the next page, we actually get to see the lumberjack token. Oh, I see it, it, the, the description is too long. Um, <laughs> and we can see the effects in this case. The lumberjack token says a token of your lumberjack knowledge. Reducing cost of chopping a tree down by 25%. So if it costs 25, it will cost, cost about 19 uh, energy. That's a lot. Trust me. So, and yes, again, as you can see, say here in the skills, also changed uh, kind of the layout. You can see also the description changing on the top. And uh, again, these have a green background. And we can go to the next page in this case and see what the effects are. Well, you could do it before, but now it's clear what I'm showing you here. These are literally the effects of this skill. And um, crafting has been sort of impacted by this because now it's clearer to see what is a weapon and what is an item by just looking at the uh, color. Now, well, let's go to one more, um, one more panel. Uh, that is brand new for you guys and that is the token one. So this is where all our tokens are going. Uh, every time we do something unique we discover a token and every time we repeat it we increase the progress on that token. See in this case we have a, we have discovered a leafy token which increases the growth of planted plants by 25%. Not plants by nature but plants that we planted and also um, a lumber, lumberjack token which we actually have one equipped right now. And uh, we can select one of these and create one for three wisdom. You can see how many wisdom we have, how much wisdom, sorry, we have on the top right. However, that's not the case. You're never going to have 24 wisdom. No way, that's way too much. I just put it there for testing. Uh, it's really hard to just get a point of wisdom for doing something. So, uh, But uh, say if we create a lumberjack token, we spend six wisdom. And uh, this is more expensive than the leafy token. Um, and now you can see I can actually up apply it, or I can compress it, uh, although it will require three. Um, that will make a superior, better uh, token that has better effects. Uh, we can convert it into two wisdom, right? Sort of like selling it, if you may, or create another one. We're actually going to create more of these, right? And now we're going to compress it, and look what happens. Bam! Now we have an extra token going on here, which is the major lumberjack token. So this one uh, reduces the cost of chopping a tree down by 25%, this by 40%. And uh, actually, if we equip um, our stick of lumberjack, which has the regular minor uh, lumberjack token, if you may, we go to a tree, you, say, you see it says 19x uh, EP of cost right that is the reduced value if we unequip it it says 25 so it's definitely worth it trust me now the other way that this um this new color tagging thing has been affecting the game the tagging the, the color coding on the tagging 
Um, it's very useful in the sense that now you know what you're getting once you pick up an item. Say, if I pick up this stone, this rock, we actually see, oh, this is an item. So I know what it does, you know, it's an item, uh, you know, it's for crafting. Here's a stick, right? That just appeared out of nowhere. And um, if we pick it up, oh, look, it's yellow, so it's a weapon. I, I can go ahead and equip it right now, right? Here's some binds, but again, we can pull out. And you can see again, it indicates how many I have. It's much more clear now. Um, but actually, I want to go into a fight. Let's um, I have a let, let's eat something, and we're gonna go into a fight. Uh, although I don't think I'll, I'll I'll leave it in the video because that may make it too long. All right, and uh, we're gonna finish you off. You're just way too easy to kill. I just, uh, all right, great. We got nothing, right? But we discover a hunt token, and we made progress on the hunt. That is important. By the way, it doesn't look good. By the way, uh, so you can see the the stick is uh, damaged now. But um, again, sticks break very easily. It's not like a crafted weapon. But um, I should stop making videos with sticks. Just saying. But in this case, if we go now to this panel, we can see that the experience on this level has progressed. Now we have almost 50% progress on um, um, leveling up this stick. Now sticks usually don't level up; they break before you do. That's how bad they are. But um. But uh, yeah, so as you can see now, we uh, unlocked a token, which is the, the hunt token. And uh, you can see the progress uh, towards the next, um, say, free item, if you may, uh, is right here. So basically, it means that if we complete this bar right here on the hunt token, we'll get uh, a whole hunt token uh, put into our inventory, right? So we don't have to spend wisdom to get it. This is usually how you get uh, tokens, by just doing certain activities over and over, which it's not grinding really, because you end up doing them often, like, I don't know, uh, chopping down a tree, you still need to do it, so you will do it, right? Or um, fighting enemies, you'll still fight them, right? Rats give you hunt tokens, small rats and regular rats give you hunt tokens, but uh, other creatures give you different tokens or save progress in them. And you know, once they unlock it, uh, you can just spend wisdom right away to create one, you don't have to wait for it to fill it up, although again, you probably won't usually have wisdom to do it. So that is all, my character will die in 12 hydration ticks. So uh, that is all for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.